Hi, my name is John Robinson from Delaware. Welcome to a short video on why you should upgrade from AX2012 to Dynamics 365 Finance with Delaware. As you're probably aware, AX2012 is coming to an end of life and won't be supported for much longer. Along with that, there hasn't been any new functionality put into AX2012 for over two years now. Now with Dynamics 365, there are several benefits that I'm going to cover a couple uh, in this video. Uh, one, it's a true software as a service application, so we only use what we need to use and the amount of users that we want to use. Um, we'll always be up to date with Evergreen, so Microsoft will maintain the solution for us and make sure that we're on the latest version. And we get the ability to take advantage of new functionality that Microsoft has released and allows us to take advantage of our investment in Microsoft platform as well. So if we're using Office 365 or if you, you're already using the Power Platform as well, so Power BI and Power Apps, etc., there is a lot tighter integration now uh, and seamless integration with uh, the Power Platform, giving us the ability to extend uh, Dynamics with those applications. Now, some of the new functionality that I mentioned, I uh, picked out a couple. One is subscription billing. So this gives us the ability to set up recurring contract billing. Now that could be fixed amounts, it could be flexible amounts, it could be based on usage. It also allows us to do revenue and expense deferral and multiple element revenue allocations. Another example is the OCR and inv invoice automation for accounts payable. So the ability for us to scan in or receive emails of invoices and have those automatically matched against purchase orders and receipts within Dynamics. Uh, and then also allow us to manage any failures with a, uh, a failure management uh, element to the capability. Another piece of functionality is the Finance Insights. Now, with Finance Insights, this is an AI-driven application and Microsoft are adding to this all the time. So it allows us to access data from multiple sources, so not just Dynamics 365. So for example, we have AI budget proposals based on historical data, but could be based on data from other sources. Customer payment predictions, so based on historical information, it will allow us to predict when we think customers are going to pay. And cash flow forecasts, so the ability to access the data within Dynamics plus data from other sources and give us dashboards and information relating to cash flow, the budget and payment predictions. With Go365, this is our proven methodology for migrating clients like yourself from AX2012 to Dynamics 365. So if you would like to know any more about this, or please reach out to us and uh, we'll be happy to help.